Hey guys, Trav4 here today, and today we're talking about the CCM Premier Plus Composite Goal Stick. As you can tell, a little bit of a different setting. I'm outside. I figured that might be uh, something different for a commentary video today. So, like I said, we're talking about the Premier Plus Goal Stick. It's CCM's first real true composite goal stick, um, and it uh, came out about three or four months ago. So, you got guys like Roberto Luongo using it, Kerry Price, Mike Smith. Connor Hellebuck, a couple other guys, guys are using the stick, and it's very untraditional from what CCM has done in the past. All their their previous sticks, even when they're as Reebok, were all foam core sticks, all wood sticks, and I really enjoyed them. And so my biggest concern coming into this was, is the stick going to hold up? Is it going to have durability? Because all of my previous experiences, with the exception kind of the 1S stick, all my composites have broken within three weeks, maybe four weeks. My 1S stick lasted a touch over two months, but I was using that a lot. And the Primer Plus stick, the durability, I'm being honest, it just wasn't there. Um, but I want to talk on the performance first. So performance-wise, CCM pioneered the stick, and they said, you know, I, we want to go in a direction that's very traditional. We want it to be like a foam core stick. You know, the foam core performance, but with the benefits of a composite. So they've added your typical composite grip, the little uh, sticky grip by the paddle there. That's nice. They've added it on the back of the shaft, so when you're playing pucks, you got a little bit of grip there for your glove hand. Um, those are the very traditional directions they've gone with. Um, they've gone with a carbon weave on the front. I think it looks kind of cool. It's a good graphic, good look. Um, but as far as actually stopping the puck goes, it's a very stiff stick. So they've com they've really stiffened up the blade a lot. So there's almost it's very similar to uh, Brian's GSP One. It's not going to give you that same responsive feel you get from say an Infinity or a Bauer or a Warrior stick because it's it's not as soft. It's a lot stiffer of a blade. And it's not a bad thing by any means, it's just different. It totally depends on what you're used to and what your preference is. I've used a softer blade my entire life. I've never used you know, a, a religiously hard blade, right? Because that's it's not going to allow for that, that responsive feel that I personally like. And that also translates into puck handling. So with puck handling, I'm a very active puck handling gold pitter. So when I'm doing that, I love a nice whip to my stick. I, I like that stick to flex a lot. I like a good curve of the blade and I like a lot of give. So it can help me launch that puck and just whip it. But with the Primer Plus stick, because the blade is so stiff, because the stick is so stiff, there's almost no give when it comes to shooting pucks. It, and I found that my, my puck handling took a major dip. You know, when somebody like Mike Smith, who is honestly, in my opinion, the, the best puck handling goaltender in the world for the past three or four years, the fact that he's using this stick, I, I kind of would like to know, and I, and I was never able to get an answer out of CCM for this, but what his specs are and what exactly, um, you know, he's doing to make it work for him. You know, I've been in constant communication with CCM. Uh, I got a good relationship with them and uh, a lot of a lot of questions answered and, you know, thrown back and forth. Um, and another thing I want to talk about is the customer service. So customer service is a make or break deal. No matter what it is, whether it's CCM, Bauer, Warrior, any company, or whether you're buying food at the grocery store, customer service is your biggest asset. If you can't keep your customer happy, that will make or break your future sales and your relationship with them. So that's why I'm big on it because I represent the consumer, the, the traditional goalie sitting at home who's gonna go buy the product. I was splitting time between uh, the Premier Plus and my 1S stick, so probably about four to five full ice times is what I got out of it. And then I took a puck off the shaft of the stick and it created a little bit of a chip on the shaft and I was a little bit concerned about that and then right away after that I went to go and play the puck and it just it broke on me right at the shaft so that was disappointing because that lasted me about three weeks about four to five full ice times worth so then I contacted CCM and this is where the customer service is going to come in and I told them hey the stick broke you know if I was a traditional consumer in a sense because I am demoing the product I'm not I wasn't I'm not paying for the stick there was this was sent on the house courtesy of CCM but if I was a true like a traditional normal consumer what can we do here and they said well Trav it's under the 30 days we'll warranty you a new stick we'll get you one out as soon as we can no questions asked and I said thank you very much I gave them the serial number and the uh, the stick that they originally sent me apparently was a prototype it doesn't really make much sense to me but the second stick they sent they said okay we're gonna get it right we're gonna get you an exact retail version and then you know you're gonna be able to make your analysis from there so I said you know thank you very much that uh, that'd be awesome so I, I got it I got it about a you know week couple days later and so I was looking forward to it you know giving it a second chance you know maybe the first one was a fluke because it was a prototype and the durability is a lot better than one it was I was led to believe and so the second stick I used it for an ice time here back home and uh, everything was good and then I went out for my trip to BC uh, probably about two weeks ago and first ice time first night I shot off the shaft again, a little crack, a little chip. Next play, I went to shoot a puck, and it just exploded on me. Like, the stick literally went from me playing the puck to right to the ceiling. It 
to the roof of the building, it just exploded on me. And I was extremely disappointed because that got me two ice times out of it. Between both the retail and the prototype version, I was able to honestly get probably about seven or eight full ice times worth. Now, for me, my team pays for part of my sticks. You know, I don't pay for my sticks, which is nice, but it gets to a point where my team will only pay for so many sticks before they say, okay, Travis, enough, we can't help you anymore, which is justified. And most people out there, 90% of people, do not have a team that's gonna pay, like, pay for the sticks or buy them sticks. So if you're paying for your own sticks and money is an issue, this is not gonna be the stick for you because you're not gonna be able to afford continually buying a pro-level composite stick for $230 a piece. It's realistic, it's not gonna happen. If your team is paying for your sticks, or if you're a little bit well off, and your parents say, you know, money's not an issue, we can buy you whatever stick you want as often as you want, then I think this would be a good stick for you, depending on your style of play. If you would like the style of play that this stick is with, you know, having, you know, a stiffer blade, a stiffer paddle, a more responsive kind of composite feel, if you will. So that's that's where it's gonna lie for whether or not I would recommend the stick for you. For me personally, I don't think I can recommend the stick. I think CCN really needs to go back to the drawing board because at this point, granted yes, it's their first entry into the composite field and there's been some good feedback and good response to it so far, but for my product testing, I'm testing it from a realistic perspective and with a lot in mind, I honestly could not recommend it to somebody who is gonna be paying for their sticks, who wants performance and wants quality because there's, as far as I'm concerned with the, the time that the stick lasted, there is no true value here. So with all this in mind, I'm giving the CCM Prima Plus stick a five out of 10. It's a good performing stick. It, it gets the job done, but there's no durability. And for and that reason alone does not add any value for me. And it, for those reasons, for 90% of you, I cannot honestly recommend the stick to you. So guys, that's today's video. So talking about the CCM Prima Plus composite stick. So let me know, what do you think? Have you used the Prima Plus stick? Have you not? I've gotten a lot of messages on, on social media of guys using the stick saying, hey, I had the exact same thing happen. It lasted a very short amount of time, broke in the same spot. So guys, let me know. Send me a message on Instagram, on Twitter, whatever it may be. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you think. And what do you want to see next? Leave a like for more future videos and subscribe for more content. I want to thank you guys all a lot for watching. And I'll see you again in the next video.